Welcome to this week's brawl. Old and a new. Okay. Click to start. The Madman! Only cards from Goblins vs. Gnomes Grand Tournament, which would in the Boomsday Project. Obviously a really interesting brawl for a deck builder like myself. I was asked, how do you even start constructing something like this? As I'm journeying this a little bit late as I was sick when the brawl first came out. Uh, I looked at the meta a bit. It looks vaguely like there's a lot of Mech Hunter. Well, something Zua should be good, but there's no classic cards. The zoo base isn't there. And I looked at all the classes and there's some insanely good cards against Aggro. Monster for Battle is insane. Uh, and Shielded Minibot was insane. So I was like, okay, I'm going to build a mid-range Paladin. Uh, it's kind of my strongest deck archetype, I think. And then I looked at all the odd cards and I was like, wait, Monster for Battle is odd. Coghammer is odd. Uh, wow, look at all these insane cards. Quartermaster is odd. Uh, Quartermaster is basically level I can accept better. Baku is in the meta. Well, we're just gonna build an odd mech paladin deck, and here it is. We've got war gear, we've got all these mech cards. I don't know how this deck isn't number one in the meta, it sure seems really strong to me. Let's go. Is Quartermaster strong enough to keep? I think so. Oh man. And Lily Squire is uh, really, really strong considering you really want to hear it there. Well, early, I should say. Seems like Hero Power might be even better than Argent Horse Rider. Depends on how big a threat they come up with. One day, I'll be a real knight. Hero Power, Hero Power, Coin Quartermaster, Quartermaster. That seems pretty insane. Oh, he is so screwed. It's over. Reporting Oh no! A spider bomb! Reporting for two. Converting stored energy. The battle! The battle! We're using real swords. Ooh! Got my 1-3. Uh, that looks like a misplay. But these are 3-3s. Three Good game! It's over! The battle! The battle! The battle! The battle! Hey, this is ridiculous. Anyone who plays wild would like quickly realize this is the best deck, right? Oh, what a cute video deck there. Oh. That's so cute! And turn five kill. That's not bad. The battle, the battle, the battle. None will survive. One day I'll be a real knight. Ah. Reporting for two. <laughs> Woohoo! Reporting for two. The battle! The battle! And do they even have any AoE? Does AoE even exist? Ah, Explosive Sheep, that's the only thing I could think of. So that's 4 mana deal 2. Yeah, Cinder Storm. Well, that kinda counts. Yeah, that's a card. Oh my god. Oh. 
What a counter. Unity. I thought this would be an easy game, but what a hard counter with Missile Launcher and Cinderstorm. Who knows, maybe even Arcane Missiles. I wonder if that can discover any card. Yeah, this is just wild format, I would guess. Right. Two arms. Oh, according to plan. The cavalry here. The battle. Never so Play until I lose, maybe? You can try that. I'll just keep uh, queuing until I lose again. For a start, OP OP. Access denied. Oh, well then. That's a start. Reporting for duty. I thought about hitting it, but it's likely that I'll activate twice <coughs> before I do anything. Which will mean it'll be at six, which is in range of double quartermaster, anyways. Reporting for duty. I can fix anything. Two arms, men. The battle! The battle! Let's see, 3 1 1 microbots is actually a bad mashup against this stuff. Oh, face. Will be Rush the enemy! Defend Gilneus! He's putting on a good fight. Evil will be purged. Converting stored energy. Powering up. Portal online. Unity. Precision. Perfection. Oh, Doctor Who. Dr. Bummer. Reporting for duty. Two arms, men! I'm fast and furious! Protocol 7 in Really keeping me off this board. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Get in. The will be purged. One day I'll be a real. <laughs> We're running out of gas, but so is the opponent. Hopefully, and our hero power uh, definitely beats gain two armor. will 
be purged. Fine, we're fine. One day, I'll be a real knight. Reporting to you. Maybe playing Baku first is good, so that I could put the taunt and the vine shield on it, and then just take the three, and hope he doesn't have any burst. Hmm, it's a risk. I'll take this risk. The battle. Best draw is definitely Zilliax. Ooh, Omega. The menagerie is for guests only. Oh, well. Mega Assembly, probably a lot better with Wild. Probably. Slay them! Never surrender. Slay them! Oh. Oh. The battle! The battle! The battle! Never surrender! Who will be purged! Behold the armies of Stormwind. Thirteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three. Thirteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three. Woo woo! The battle! The battle! The battle! Twenty-four. Hmm, coin hero power and the hero power and the warhorse trainer. Seems like a good start. I like it. Unless I get lowly squire, I guess. Maybe I'll play Glotron. Glotron, hero power, warhorse trainer. As the opponent will just hero power first. My hero power would only... Kind of only give one? So this is probably better. I got Warhorse Trainer in trade. It is Cog Hammer. That's pretty good. Hopefully, hit it on the one, too. Oh, come on. Yeah, let's do this. Only because I have war gear, I'm actually interested in keeping that up. I don't have enough guys, I guess. To consider this line too much. Hmm. Will be purged. We can coin war gear. It's decent. You can also start making more guys. Hitting that hero power is clearly really good when three of my cards turned out with my hero power right now. Hey, Fan of Knives isn't a card anymore in this setting. So I've got the synergy for the mech and the synergy for the guys. Undead. And he kills the two. One. This is just like old midrange paladin. I just want to hit the button a bunch. 
Except it's a little bit better than old mid-range paladin because the button is automatically there, even without just a card true heart. This card true heart is also in the meta again. Cool. Two arms, men. I don't think we want to open the bottle. Too much damage to give up here. I the battle. Ready. The battle. The battle. The battle! Deck too strong! There is an interesting issue where the Cogmaster is a one drop that I don't really want to keep. Meh, what can you do? None will survive! I think it's fine. Even though I won't mulligan, even though I'm mulligan away, I guess it's still better to play a 1-2 if I draw it through a mulligan. I can fix anything. I can fix anything. It's an aggressive start. One of those interesting situations where we're both wanting to trade. Okay. I'm glad he slowed down with just dagger on turn two. With an aggressive start like Double Cog Master. Explosive! Get down! He's like, woohoo! I'm like, huh. Hmm. Make him have to hero power for it, I think. Yeah. Might be the loss. Ah. Oh, this is it. One day I'll be a real man. Something is tinkering. Maybe the meta is so mech heavy that EMP operative is really good. Whoppity whop one. Chansu? Chansu? Hmm. Unity, precision, perfection, primitive. Evil will be purged! The battle! The battle! The battle! Nah, sadly. Oh! Well, we get the lifesteal. Hmm. What would I need? The battle is over. 
<laughs> what do you guys think? I feel like that was a fluke. I want to do play until I lose again, part two. Cogmaster is weak. And EMP operative actually is a house here. No! <laughs> I'm dying. Blizzard. Sadly, spend 400 dust on EMP operative seems absolutely insane in this format. This update is mandatory. Welcome to the brawl where Blizzard gains your 800 dust. <laughs> EMP operative seems good enough to keep. That's a good sign. The mecha return one hero power turn three technician coin operative maybe confirm if i blind keep emp operative whenever i'm going up against hunter and i mean i think i just keep it against everyone there's not enough cards to not be running mechs it's just five mana assassinate plus three three like why wouldn't you play this card It's like it's got a straight uh, this one actually. Yeah. Don't worry, Lux, the cavalry's here. Yeah. The battle's yeah. up and now. Oh. It was like thinking about the technician, obviously I don't play it since I want the bomb to target something low. And then Hog Hammer, but sometimes I lose the divine shield and you know, do I play it first or second? But this is right. Something needs tinkering? Reporting for two. Yeah. So I don't really consider this an aggro deck. It reminds me a lot of the mid-range paladin I was playing around the old era with the grand tournament, except I've already played just a card true heart. So I'm playing it like a mid-range paladin, which has gotten just a card true heart's ability early. Got a lot more of mid-range five drops. Unity. Than the usual deck Perfection. of Odd Paladin that you might know from standard. Reporting for duty. Mount up! The battle! The battle! Well fought. I can see. Turn one Lily Squire, turn two hero power. No, turn one double Lily Squire. Turn two hero power. Oh my god, that's so insane. None will survive. Oh no. The only one who could stop my run is the mirror. But this is a really strong start, and they don't have a one drop, so it's over. One day I'll be a real one day. I'll be a real knight. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. We're using... We're using... Swords. Swords. This is just a game all about board control. And I'm starting off with an extra... Four minions. His best play is muster for battle. One day, I'll be a real knight. But I also have a muster for battle. And this is a matchup where there's no catch up, since there's no consecration. It's over! You fool. Just keep his board clear. Easy peasy. Probably competitive spirit. Evil will be purged. The battle. I don't want to just have one thing get hit by competitive spirit, but at the same time, 
Why don't just have zero things get hit by competitive spirit? That also seems good. This is a novel format, but I think with the severe lack of AoE in the format, the best aggressive board flooding decks will be quickly figured out. It is my theory. But hey, that's why it's a cool brawl. It's only around for a week. Turn 1, turn 2, turn 3, coin. Mm. Fell River kind of gets outclassed, and I think EMP Operative is actually strong enough to keep. None will survive. I can fix anything. I am ready. Seems essential to start off the game. Playing a one drop in this format. Game can slip away pretty fast. I'm actually afraid not to play my double one drop right now. Can't use the coin, the quartermaster is too good. <sighs> Fine. No mm, hero power. This car could survive later. This is also to attack. This brawl seems to be all about tempo. Fall behind early or make a weak play such as Galvanizer, and you're out! Alright, let's hit that one. The card we're afraid of is Metal Tooth Leaper, right? Yeah, it's a super scary card. Value there. Ah. Uh, he's doing what I did to the last paladin. I can fix anything. Just clear. But now I have EMP operative to catch up at least. Whatever catch up that's worth. Ah! Okay, I see why that's meta net. Yeah, it's possible that turn two hero power is just too weak. Two one ones when it's all about tempo. Even played a loser like. Galvanizer and still beat me. Womp womp. Well played. Play us off, Rusty Horn. Well played. The battle is over. The real loser is me losing 400 dust to EMP operative. Yeah, that might be a little too slow. <laughs> 